Well, what a game that was. Full of drama, but unfortunately disappointing finish for the Blades. Brian, I mean, that's not the finish we wanted, was it? It was so close, the last 15 minutes just... Yeah, I mean, it, you know, we've done so well to get back into the game. You know, Billy's come on and, um, you know, Billy does what, Billy, what, what he does, which is he's a threat in the box. And um, I felt very comfortable once I saw Billy in there. He came close beforehand a couple of times and then, you know, we threw it away at the end again. So very disappointing. I mean, we kind of, do you think that it got to our head a little bit as soon as we got that goal? I think we got lured into a false sense of security by the fact that we'd scored, you know, and it's almost like in everybody's mind are we thinking, OK, well, we're back now, this is it, and, and we switch off. You know, you, you, you know, whether or not it's a foul, it's a 50-50 decision. You've got to cover your bases. And, um, you know, he's, he's rolled him, he's played the ball a, across the box square and he's put it in. There wasn't a player in there wasn't a Blaze player in sight, so that's disappointing. Um, yeah, it's overall disappointing. I don't think that the tempo was good enough. We talked about tempo before the game and how important that is. I don't think at times we played the balls into the right areas. I don't think we had enough um, want from our forwards. To, to run into those areas, to give the players from the back an option. And, and, and that's, you know, it all kind of cascades downwards after that. To be fair to Huddersfield, in the second half, they did come out with a bit more steam behind them. Mm -hmm. However, we kind of counterbalanced that about halfway through the second half. But still, we didn't really see that Huddersfield first goal coming, did we? Well, th the point is, is that we, we saw in parts that we had a lot of possession and because we played into areas where they were very composed and compact, there was, there was only one outcome. And there was a couple of times where we played it, balls into areas, we, we couldn't retain the ball, they broke. And those were the signs, those were the warning signs for me that we have an issue. And if you look at the goals that they scored, they, they, we got stretched at the back. You know, perhaps we were over committing, I'm not sure. Well, let's take a little look at what did unfold. So this was the first Huddersfield goal from Karoma. Yeah. I mean, like I said, he's, he's just waiting in space and it's, it's a classic counter-attack situation. Um, from his point of view, he's at, it's a great save by the goalkeeper, but, you know, it, it hits it into an empty net. I mean, the Huddersfield forwards, as soon as they got the ball, they always wanted to do something with it, didn't they? Well, that's their job. You know, you're playing away from home. There's less emphasis on you to come out. You're just waiting like a predator for, for the opportunities. And, and they played their... To be fair to them, game, game plan-wise, it worked a treat. You know, we, I think we got mugged, if, I, if I'm totally honest. Um, and, you know, again, it's about that in-game management from players, I think. You know, people taking... Um, control of the situation using their experience you know what do we need in this f period of the game you know what should our focus be on tempo do we drop the tempo you know you you, you know once you step over that line there's nothing you can do as a, as a coach or a manager and when I saw Billy Sharp come on and I saw his determination and the way how he looked at the game Billy wanted to score well, and, and it's as much as anything that we've seen. Let's take a little look at Billy now. You mentioned him. This was his... Yep. Just missed volley. Yep. You know, it's, it's instinct, that is. You know, he's pulled off into space and it's a good effort. You know, OK, it's gone into the middle of the goal, but you know as a forward, when you're getting those opportunities, you're going to get closer and closer and it, 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 it impacts on you. So it just felt a bit unlucky, didn't it? Yeah. It's a good effort, you know, if that was me coming on, I know that I'm going to get another opportunity. And it definitely got Bramble yep. Lane on its feet. Mm -hmm. And of course, he got his 20, uh, sorry, 250th yep. uh, goal. So a huge congratulations to Billy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, McBurney initially wins the header. McGoldrick um, just gets a slight touch on it. But Billy does what he does well. He rolls him in the box, either foot. And it's, it's a wonderful finish from a centre forwards perspective. It's that experience, isn't it, that he brings to the team? It does, and, and yeah, it, it is. You, you're exactly right. You know, when you've spent a much, as much time as he has in and around the box, you understand where you need to be. You know, 
you can mug defenders, you take them under the ball and then you pull off. And that's what he's good at. And that's why, for me, it was important to see him not in the first half, but impacting on the game later on when the steam's gone out of the game. So we obviously, we got that. We mm -hmm. were level. Yep. Our confidence was high. Everyone yep. in Bramall Lane was feeling good about that. Yep. Um, and that was obviously in the 91st um, mm. minute. And then this yep. happened. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's no, there's no danger here. You know, we've got enough men around the ball. Um, and look, it's... We got three men on the 18-yard box in the end, you know, still complaining. We, we have, you have to play to the whistle. You know, it's, it, it's, you know it's, it's criminal in many ways. You know, it's, it's a professional code that until you hear that whistle, you carry on. As a forward, you go in there and you're thinking, OK, I'm going to play to the whistle because I want to score. You know, and it works in opposite with a defender. So that's disappointing. You know, there's there's little there's things that have happened, little points in each at each point. That point, and I've been there lots of times where these decisions have impacted as a player on the pitch. You know, learning about it is too late. You know, you've got to be proactive, not reactive. I mean, exactly. Proactive, not reactive, that's definitely what they need to bring into their next mm -hmm. game against yeah. uh, Derby County. But there were a few positives and they did play well. Like you say, they had a lot of possession, so they just need to bring those positives to the next game. Yeah, I mean, the, the reason why it gets harder and harder is because teams will be analysing what the Blades are doing and, um, and they'll be setting up their game plan as a result of that. Now, that doesn't give the players much breathing space or rest you know, it all comes back, it all starts to impact on them and the, and the tactics and the manager as well. So it, it becomes a very tough situation now. You know, Huddersfield now, I think they've got seven points. We've got one point. You know, so you've, st even on Huddersfield, who are mid-table, I think you've got to, you've got to make that up. You know, it, you then kind of, it, it's all about catching up now. Yeah, exactly. Well, Brian, it's been really good to get your thoughts. And it's sure. lo it was lovely watching the game with you, despite the scoreline. Yeah. That's <laughs> so that's hopefully fine. we'll uh, be in the chairs next to each other again very Definitely. soon. Well, let's take a little look at the fixtures that we've got coming up. Of course, on Tuesday, we've got our second game of the Carabao Cup against Derby County. That kicks off at 7.45pm. So make sure to head to SUTV Live. And of course, on Saturday, we face Luton Town trying again to get those three points on the board. Thank you for watching. Thank you to yourself, Brian, to Kevin Gage and to Matt Young and everyone here behind the scenes. And of course, you guys for being with us too. Not the result we wanted, but we go again on Tuesday. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon.